It is with great respect and admiration that I stand before you to introduce you to someone I have known for over 20 years. He is the epitome of hard work, determination, dedication, and perseverance. And just like my city, he has an incredible story. He is an interesting mix of a scholar and of a visionary, of a student and a teacher, of a peacemaker and of a rebel rouser. He is a symbol of this great city. He's been called a myriad of titles, radio personality, journalist, activist, but to me, he is simply my friend. He is our neighbor. He is somebody that is important to us. He is the city's son. He's a great role model. I introduce to you my friend, Charles A. Pugh. to our 
campaign will ramp up to the last day on Saturday. And she said that my daughter has never voted. And on today, that young lady cast her first ballot for Charles Pugh for Detroit City Council. And I want that young lady to know that I am not going to let her down. I'm going to work hard every day, me and every member of my team, every day, to engage and encourage Detroiters to get more involved in changing our city. We will work diligently every day with the other colleagues at the council table to make the tough decisions about balancing our budget. That's going to be tough. We're going to create jobs through business outreach. And we're going to make you proud of the people that you elect. There's a tough road ahead, because guess what? This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. November 3rd, although it's really just around the corner, we've got a long road between now and then. And we know at times it will be discouraging and may get nasty. But I know you got my back. We're going to stay focused. And I need you now more than ever. I need you to knock on every door within your sight. I need you to call every contact in your phone, in your mama's phone. I need you to Twitter. I need you to Facebook. I need you to email. I need you to send up smoke signals, whatever it takes to get us to Tuesday, November 3rd. It's going to be a different race between now and then. Now, it's only 18. And we need to stay focused and we need to spread our message that it is time to change Detroit. We need new leadership and a new vision. Pew and you changing Detroit.